All right, so for this video, <coughs> we're going to do how to get your DUNS number for your businesses. Uh, so simple search engine like Google, pretty simple. Let's type in D DUNS number. So once DUNS number come up, ignore all this because it's all advertisement. We'll get to where it says, what is a DUNS number? It should take you to his website, Duns and Bradstreet. From here, scroll to Duns number. Get a Duns number. My connection is a little slow. Pardon me. I want to scroll down here. The reason why you want to get it, you know, well, your U.S. business, of course. So type in the name of your business, wherever that may be. I'm just gonna make one up right now. It's like makeup. LLC, one, two, three, four. Well, got to put kind of bad real address here. Let's see, it shows up. Main Street, Tampa. That's where I'm from. Six one nine. Search. This is what you want because you know your business not business name and stuff's not taken. It will say search result zero. So get a news done. Get a new get a news done number. It's like four o'clock over here. All right. From here, to give you a couple options. Like I was saying before, depending on how fast you want to scale your business credit, you can pay for it or you can do it for free. Um, usually for free, it's about six months or less. Uh, usually, I see. Around four or six months, you can start having a really good established business credit. So I just do a free one, and that's what the coursework in the Renatas teaches you to as well. So get a free Duns number. Get started. From here, you want to look for the asterisk signs, which is this thing right here. It says required fields. So again, I did a uh, makeup. Make up LLC. Year started. I say this year. Number of employees. Uh, this is very important. Uh, most people are solopreneurs, so they put one. But the ideal number you want to put here is five. The reason five is because usually when they look at an organization, they want to make sure that the business is spread out for different roles. Um, that's another class. Y'all can watch on the Renatus, but um, to pre pretty much sum up, just put five sales. Just go with hundred thousand. Even if you don't make it, just put hundred thousand. Well, that's what I put. But ideally, you want to put your regular sales number, principal name. That's you. So I put Bob Bob Smith here. I'm not gonna put my name on here. Um, your role, the typical role you want to put on here, is. CEO, Chief Executive Officer. Description, what are you? Look at real estate. Business phone number, whatever it may be. Info. We talked about this last night. Make sure you have business email address, not a, at Gmail or at Yahoo or at whatever it is. It's supposed to be info or whatever you want to be support or help. At the name of your company, make up. No. There's a structure. You are a domestic, not foreign. But now you know, a limit liability for a company. LLC. The address one two three four. Yep. Are you there? State at Florida. Uh, partner offers don't select these. They'll just try to sell you stuff. But next, there's no asterisks here, so you don't have to fill it out. But if you do have these, please fill it out. It'll make the approval process a lot faster with DMB. 
because right now what we're doing is we're applying for a DUNS member. So they're going to do some research on you and your company. They want to make sure that you're incorporated with the state, whether you're LLC, S Corp, C Corp, wherever that may be. If you're a uh, sole prop, my suggestion to you is to get incorporated as soon as possible because you're applying for a business account. Keyword business, not personal. Solar sole prop is personal because it ties into your social security number. So now that you're an organization, make sure you do that way. Make sure you get your incorporation with the state. Make sure you get your business checking account. Again, business, not personal. So everything has to be under your EIN. If you don't have an EIN, get an EIN. Uh, same step here. I was Bob Smith. Uh, information was info at makeup.com, passcode, whatever that may be. Once you've done all that, make sure you agree to terms and policies. Hit submit. Once you get this right here, go check your email. The email should say something in regards to congratulations. You apply for a DUNS number. It will take about 30 days for us to get back to you, which isn't the case normally. If you're set up correctly as far as you got your <clears throat> domain name, um, you also got your business email address, you got your EIN, and of course, very importantly, you register with state. If you have all of that information, it should take as little as six days, sometimes 14 or 15. I rarely see it 30, but if you're not set up correctly, it might be 30. So that's about it in a nutshell. Uh, once you get your DUNS number, I will show you. Actually, I'll do a video on how, how to register that stuff. But this is to get a DUNS number.